Hello future scientists in unit 2 mixing materials. You have learned about dissolving. It is when a material mixes with a liquid and becomes part of the liquid so that the solid cannot be seen. You are able to ask scientific questions that can be investigated, collected and recorded observations and our measurements in tables and diagrams and also identified risk and explained how to stay safe during practical work. In your workbook page 23, focus you will use some of the keywords from this topic to complete sentences. And then page 24, practice you will identify things in an investigation that are unsafe and write about how they can stay safe. Page 25, this is to challenge you, answer question on data in a table of results and how an investigation has been planned. Now let's answer number one. Add the missing words to these sentences. Use these words dissolve, soluble, insoluble, transparent, insoluble. Letter A, sand is insoluble in water. Why? Because the bond of water is not strong enough to dissolve the sand. Okay? So letter B, salt is blank in cooking oil. So what do you think? Yes, it is insoluble, okay? Salt doesn't dissolve in oil at all because oil has practically no charge at all. So salt and oil are not chemically alike. One is charged, the other is not. As a result, when salt is added to oil, no bonds are broken. So here, B is insoluble. Letter C, salt is blank in water. Okay, it is it is soluble. Salt is soluble in water due to electrical charges and due to the fact that both water and salt compounds are polar, meaning with positive and negative charges on opposite sides in the molecule. And letter D, the more water there is, the more salt can dissolve because most solids, including salt, become more soluble with increasing temperature. This is because heat increases molecular movement. Okay, causing more collisions between the water molecules and the solid. Letter E, when a solid dissolves in water, the solid cannot be seen but the water is still transparent. When a substance dissolves in water, you can't see it anymore. It's still there but has mixed with the water to make a transparent liquid. Now let's do page 24. Number 2, practice. These children are doing an investigation that is unsafe. Circle three things that are dangerous. So what do you think? Look at this picture properly and then find, okay, what are the three things that are dangerous? So one is inhaling the chemicals or dangerous gases can cause headaches, you know, and even fainting. Also, handling hot items quickly without the proper tools can result in, se in serious burns. Also, without wearing protective gloves, Actually, it is very essential when handling chemicals. Question number three, write two things these children should not do. Of course, you should not taste any of the materials because this may not be clean. Also, they should not touch equipment because this may not be clean too. Here's challenge on pages 25 and 26. Zara and Marcus have investigated a science question. Marcus asks, does more sugar dissolve when the water is warmer? Here are the results. In this column, the temperature of water, second column, number of teaspoons of sugar that dissolved. For cold water, only one teaspoon. Warm water, three teaspoons of sugar, and then hot water, five teaspoons. Now, question number four, letter A. How many teaspoons of sugar dissolved in the warm water? Again, look at the table. So the answer there is three teaspoons. B. How many more teaspoons of sugar dissolved in the hot water than the cold water? Five teaspoons dissolve in hot water and one teaspoon only for cold water. So the answer here is four more teaspoons of sugar dissolved in the hot water than the cold water. So four teaspoons. Letter C, does more sugar dissolve when the water is warmer? Yes, because sugar dissolves faster in hot water than 
it does in cold water. Okay? Hot water has more energy than cold water. Letter D, Marcus and Zara were doing a fair test. What was the one thing they changed? Okay, again, look at this table. Here, they put more sugar in the container. Letter E, what was the one thing they measured? They measured number of teaspoons of sugar that dissolved. And letter F, write one thing they kept the same to make their test fair. They only used sugar. Okay, I hope that all questions are easy. And if you can answer these, you are ready to move on to the next unit. Future scientists, thank you very much for a work well done.